All right, so we are Ken and Lisa Lane. So we are the second generation owners mm -hmm. of Waters Garden Center. Lisa's father started the business back in 1962 when Prescott was truly, truly... Tiny little town. I think there's tinier than even Payson. I mean, it's tiny, oh, like yeah. not quite Seligman size, but but maybe a little bit bigger than Ash Fork right now. It's everything's changed. Mm -hmm. Like we're in this boom pattern. Definitely. And then our kids have, we've got four kids that are coming into the business. So third generation, mm -hmm. we're very excited. I have no intention of, of stepping back or, <laughs> Do they or know that? slowing down, <laughs> but I'm excited to have the kids going. Well, I would love them to take the forefront so I could like help support them. They're instead like, of, when's dad leaving? <laughs> I don't think they could take I'm kidding. this over quite yet. Anyway, are you poking at me? <laughs> yes, is I that? am. I like going to work every day. I need something I else to do, I guess. And you truly Bigger should gardens. go to work every day. Because if you retire, yeah, there might be an incident. I would drive you crazy. It might end up in the courier. <laughs> <you may have. laughs> Body found buried in garden. Raised bed. <laughs> Flowers look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Gardener fertilizes plants. Here's how. <laughs> okay, that's terrible. That's okay. You're gonna, I know. People are turning off Very the radio macabre. right now. Sorry, it's just uh, and Jess. Yeah. Just and Jess. So this is uh I would never. this is your segment. Yes. So you share your garden tips, mm -hmm. not how to bury your husband. <laughs> <laughs> I've got bad thoughts going through my head all of a sudden. Now I'm going, this could be a new TV show, how to get rid of your... <laughs> if one of us disappears, yeah. it's, it's going to be an issue. So gardening info, yes. what, what do you got for us? So inspire the, the inspire audience. Inspire you. Yeah. Give it my best shot. You've already inspired me, dear. <laughs> I'm not sure how, but... <laughs> 34, 34, 35. We've been, we dated 34. five years before we, we got married. 34. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We did date five years. You so we're going me, over 40. Almost. You inspired me 40 years ago. Yes. Now inspire the audience to garden more. Okay. Have more beautiful patios. Decks. Well, it has been beautiful. The weather has. has cooled down some. We've had some lovely rains. Um, I know I've been outside a little bit more, hanging out in the yard, yeah. just having my cup of coffee or glass of wine and just enjoying the gardens. Um, and I think a lot of people, or they should be out there doing that. If they're not, go out to your yard, enjoy your yard. Um, but I've also noticed, not so much our front yard, but our backyard. I was like, oh, we need a little bit more in certain. <laughs> what are you talking like, about? Just in certain areas. There's okay. some areas I've been looking and going, God, we need a little more color over there. Okay. Or some evergreen, some to kind of, you know, how you can just go out. and I mean, everything looks beautiful right now. Yeah. So you can actually really see how okay. nice your yard is and what's blooming. And But it's a good time to reevaluate your yard. Yeah. And decide, do I need to add? Do I need to take something out? Yeah. Because <laughs> this true. is the time of year where if things are looking ugly... They're not going to start they're looking. They're never going to look good. If they aren't lo looking now, it's, they're doomed for they're chainsaw doomed. or pickaxe. So yeah. it's a great time to go out and go, oh, maybe I do need some things. So if you need more color. So we have one side of our yard up against the fence. We've tried to grow a few things there. We used to have a vegetable garden there. And so now it's just kind of sitting empty. And I was looking at it going, man, we just need some color on that side of the yard. So I was looking at the rutabekias. We've got some oh, gorgeous nice. yeah. rutabekias and um, coneflower, uh, salvias, butterfly bush, rose of Sharon. Um, just some really nice things that are blooming beautifully this time of year that you can plant and they will be so happy. So it's a really good time to kind of look, see where you need some color. And there's still a lot of color out. You know, a lot of people think just petunias or geraniums and they're like, eh, you know, it's late in the season. I don't want to put those in, but by golly, look at perennials. Cause you can get so much color with perennials and they come back every year, more beautiful and better. All the marigolds came in looking just, oh, and those will take you way past thanksgiving into december right. then finally they fade but by then you're indoors going i want to open i want to wrap presents i don't want to marigolds are great to bring in especially as we transition maybe a little bit more into those fall where you want to decorate for fall yeah uh, marigolds are amazing for yeah. that and we have some really gorgeous blue salvia in too have you seen pumpkins available yet 
in the grocery stores? Or is it no, still No, but touch there is going, Halloween candy out. Oh, okay. Of course, they get that out. Yeah, like. <laughs> I like to buy it at, at Halloween, so it's hard when I give it away <laughs> at the front door no, for the kids. Oh. They buy it knowing <laughs> we're going to eat three quarters of it yeah. before it even make it to Halloween. Uh, but if you have a shadier spot in your yard, we have some beautiful hookahs. Um, oh, yeah. Just have gorgeous color in the leaves, kind of bronzies and reds and oranges. So really pretty to mix with your marigold oh, yeah. and all those stuff. So Good ajuga, idea. we have some um, variegated ajuga in that's really pretty. It's kind of a green and white with a purple flower. Uh, great for those shady areas. I love light colored uh, leaves, love colored foliage in shady areas because it yeah. just shows up so much nicer. And we still have a great selection of hostas. It, it, it's really? a good time it's to put those good. in. Good. So some of Number the flowers. One selling perennial in the U.S. hostas. Really? Not, not in not Arizona. Here. <laughs> in the u.s but, but they do well in the shade not in the shaded areas they do great here oh they do great yeah. in the shade you betcha um it's also a good time to maybe you need some more texture in your yeah. yard uh, maybe you need more height in your yard you know sometimes we get things all three foot tall three by three out yeah. in the yard so it's nice to have some texture and some different heights and grasses ornamental grasses are just truly coming into their own right now yeah they're they're those ones that early in the season you're like yeah, okay i'll put yeah. some in but now through fall is when they just look gorgeous um, we have a japanese silver grass which i think would be a good replacement if you wanted something like a pampas grass but did not, not so encompass big. your entire yard <laughs> uh, the japanese silver grass would be beautiful and it's kind of a variegated um what do you call a grass frond leaf is it still a leaf plant lawn leaf i don't know that's a good <laughs> idea i know it's not a flower it's a plume right so it's a flower piece but um foliage we'll just call it foliage. foliage there you go so it has a variegated foliage on it there again makes it really stand out pretty the any of the mooly grasses deer grass, uh, deer grass all of those they're just starting to put on their plumes right now very attractive especially when the breeze kind of hits them and they blow uh, we have in our yard the Carly fountain grass, yeah, which I love. We have it to pot, uh, but it's come back two, three years in a row now, and it's absolutely striking. And, and put grasses out in your yard, um, using them in threes and fives, and they're the ones you want more than just one. You yeah, actually want a few. Yeah. Uh, we were, oh, sorry. No, no, I just I didn't want to interrupt. It's oh, so we, we, we were up in Colorado, up around... Um, Fort Collins, yeah. where is your uh, Denver? Uh, Denver, yeah, Denver. It's all the same. Front but range. They are very good at using ornamental grasses in yeah. their landscapes. And a lot of Carl Foresters, the mooly grasses, the deer grass, and it really adds a lot to the landscape. And I think it's something that we could use in our yards here. Um, very easy to care for. You know, don't require a lot of, you're just kind of trimming them back in March, basically. Yeah. Um, so I think we could use those more. Treat them like a, a tree or a shrub. They, they don't, mm -hmm. don't treat them like a flower. Right. They're, they've got a very deep, fibrous root mass. So they're much hardier than you think, mm -hmm. think they do. And that's why so many native varieties grow here. So that one mm -hmm. out in the valley, mm -hmm. uh, Prescott Valley, uh, Chino Valley, uh, Paul in that area, that whole valley range, mm -hmm. they grow everywhere. Uh, deer, uh, bear grass, like B-E-A-R, oh, yeah. bear grass. Great one. Yuccas grow mm -hmm. great here. Uh, yeah. We just planted a, a blonde ambition blue grama. Mm -hmm. So grama grass grows great here, but they, yeah. we found one that has a seed head that's super, super pretty, pretty unusual. Just it's not knee high. It. It's, very it's pretty. doubled in size mm -hmm. since the rain because right. it's loving the rain. Just kind of went <laughs> put it in the ground. It was already two feet across. Now mm -hmm. it's like three feet. It's just magnificent. Right, right. Very pretty. So yeah, definitely take a look at the grasses. Well, and also maybe it's a good time to think maybe I need more evergreens in my yard because I love using evergreens as a base because it makes everything else show up so much nicer because it kind of gives you a, a canvas to paint on, I guess yeah. I would call it. So shrub evergreens, tree evergreens, oh, all the evergreens. It. Yeah, all yeah. the evergreens. Great advice. Mm -hmm. Lisa, thanks so much. It's okay to plant. There's some oh, yeah. beautiful things mm -hmm. and upgrade your yard. And if it's not looking good now, get rid of it because it's never going to, it doesn't look good now, it'll never look good right. today. I work backwards what you were just describing? I think so. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Get Elisa Lane and the Mountain Gardeners. Be right back, right after this.